welcome back to the Love Music Shelter YouTube channel. Every week I bring you exciting new musical artists from up and coming performers as well as homeless teenagers, any kind of artist that just wants to change the world. So for those of you who are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button. I met these guys on the subway. Because I know we're not gonna make them when we're preaching. Because your imperfection, perfection, we lead them. I was having a crap day beyond, and bam, there they were out of nowhere, singing. My mood just lifted. Music can truly heal. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make our scripted musical, Love Music Shelter, because I wanted to bring awareness to this crazy problem sweeping New York City, which is homeless teenagers everywhere. And with your help, we can make this change. So let me introduce you to these amazing performers. These guys are the next stop. Hey guys, how, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I think everyone out there is just gonna flip when they hear you guys. Uh, my name is um, Eddie Bellis and I'm from the beautiful island of St. Lucia. And um, I chose to perform on the subway because uh, it's a way of expressing myself. I'm Edson Sean, um, Brooklyn, New York. I've chosen to perform on the subways because it's a uh, most the most direct way to kind of minister to people. You take you take for granted how much um, people are going through things and how, as you said, music can mm -hmm. heal. Yeah. And we've seen that firsthand. You sing and then somebody starts crying because of whatever they've been going through and your music has touched them. We need more people like you out there. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Jelani Williams, um, Trinidad and Tobago. Um, and the reason why I started performing on the train is to express how I really feel like a, as a freedom of speech and there's nothing wrong that you can say. Our feature film is about teen homelessness and it's about an alcoholic mother named Lila and her beautiful teen daughter Sam who find themselves homeless and through music and community they are fortunate to come together and get off the streets. I've definitely been in, in a situation where I was homeless and on two occasions and I got evicted uh, by my um, landlord one time and then uh, it was kind of unfortunate that I had no way to go. So let me ask you, what did it take for you to get off the streets? I had someone that I could reach out to you know, and finally they told me come over. And, uh, That's wonderful. This gentleman here was a teacher, a teacher and he chose to become this musician. So I was a teacher for about eight years um, and I, the thing that I, I disliked about it, disliked about it was that they weren't creating critical thinkers. And I chose to step away from that and directly interact with youth. I have a studio that I built and um, I've done work with Hip Hop Saves Lives that have teenagers that want to write music. Yeah, and they come to my studio and I let them use that. What is the website there. for Hip Hop Saves Lives? Oh, I think Lives. it's hiphopsaveslives.org because it's so rewarding to see that somebody feels better after you yeah. minister to them with song. And people are putting down their phones, right? Yeah. And they're listening to you. I mean, yeah. that, that says, that's a big credit to you guys. And uh, Jelani, I know a little bit about you because we met before all together at Sucker's mm -hmm. Bagels. Nice. And you had told me that unfortunately you were homeless. Well, at the time I was staying with somebody in the Bronx. Um, it was just for um, a temporary stay, but I mean, he had worked out that he was gonna let me stay there for a, a, a while till I get back on my feet, find something, but um, I got evicted as well. Oh, did you go to a shelter? I previously was in a shelter mm -hmm. before, and the mindset that it gets you in, I just felt like, you know, I can man up and do this a different way. Yeah. So that's why I took that approach. So I remember you told me you s slept on Rockaway Beach for a little bit. Oh yeah, um, I used to live in Far Rockaway and it was actually the, the great thing about it was the weather was nice so I was able to just free my mind on the beach and you know just kind of like reminisce on yeah. everything and get everything. It just together. that struck me because um, in one of the scenes in our film Love Music Shelter, Sam and Lila are sleeping on the beach and they're camping mm -hmm. under the boardwalk. Oh, wow. And uh, it just reminded me because when you told me that I was like wow. I, that. That really does happen. Like, you guys are in for a treat, okay? One of these days, there'll be no more crying, no more fire. One of these days, one of these days, one of these days, it's gonna be a brighter day. Never let your problems get you down. 
Don't you cry Oh no Everything will be alright You can make it if you try Let's try yeah. Everything will be alright Hey, we got to love one another Brothers, sisters, grandmothers Give them the love and I give them the grace Stimulating, matter mind and everything about it For the moment we gotta believe And the alpha no make it We never do blemish or bluff And we never do run it We brought some blue bonnets Some roses, some dizzy, devoted Commotion, heart broken Together, not bitter We winners, put the play common sense Your imperfection perfected From the men of above Who always show the love Hey, one of these days One of these days You are out to peep out there to people who are on the streets, who are playing on the subway. I mean, I know now that you're playing in venues and clubs and gigs, and you need to do all kinds of things. It's, yeah. it's really amazing. Okay. I, I really so nice. kudos to you for getting off the streets. Okay. And you know what? I want to use you in the movie. I want to. I want that song for the film. Once yeah. we get fully funded, yeah. I'm gonna be calling you guys wow. up. And <laughs> if you guys like these guys out there, this is the next stop. Yes. Like us on our Facebook page. What do you think will make a safer shelter system in New York City? I think we need to be more uh, kind of like open-minded and kind of put your shoes in their shoes for a little bit. Do you guys all believe that music heals? Definitely. Yes. Well, listen, everybody. Please go to our site. Like us on YouTube. Check us out. Subscribe. Remember, music heals, and no one ever chooses to be homeless. Thank you for taking your time and checking me out today. I'm Alex Shotland for the Love Music Shelter channel.